Welcome to this DeepLister course on deep learning for text classification. I'm Mandy, and in this lesson, we'll get introduced to the field of natural language processing, or NLP. As depicted here, natural language processing is a vast subfield that falls in this overlap between the fields of linguistics, computer science, and artificial intelligence. The core focus of this field is on human-machine interaction. More specifically, this field focuses on the use of computers to process and analyze human language data. Generally speaking, human languages are often referred to as natural language in this field. Now, there are multiple NLP tasks that are active and in use today. We have some of the common tasks outlined here, including text classification, speech recognition, automated chatbots, optical character recognition, text-to-speech, machine translation, automatic summarization, and many more. Now, the types of data used in these various tasks can also vary as well. So the types of data within the field of NLP can be made up of text data, audio, video, or image data. Natural language can be captured in all of these different data types. Now, in addition to the various tasks and data type in this field, we also have various algorithms to solve these tasks. Some of these algorithms are based on a rule-based approach, while others use traditional machine learning algorithms, and others make use of deep learning, which is, of course, a subfield of machine learning that uses artificial neural networks. Now, given the vast differences between the various algorithms, tasks, and data types used in this field, the way that we work with and process the data in order to complete these tasks will vary greatly between them. Now, with this being said, we will be narrowing our focus in this course to a specific data type, a specific task, and using a specific algorithm to solve this task. As we've mentioned, this course is going to be focused on the task of text classification and sentiment analysis, and we'll be solving these tasks using artificial neural networks. And the type of data that we'll be working with for these text classification tasks will be textual data. Now, text classification has a broad array of use cases, with some popular ones being sentiment analysis, which is what we're going to focus on whenever we get to our code projects. But text classification can also be deployed for numerous other things like spam detection and automatic summarization and even inappropriate comment flagging across social media. So we've now been generally introduced to this vast field of natural language processing, and we should also have a good understanding of where our focus will lie within this field for the remainder of this course. 